What's going on YouTube? Steven, a salon guy here, and today we have Kevin, who's back in the chair to be a model for us today, and Kevin is a professional fitness coach, right? I mean, he does everything, so I'll link to his Instagram down below. If you have any questions or anything, you wanna sign up for his programs, that'll be awesome. But today, we're doing a haircut on Kevin's hair. Now, I have cut Kevin's hair in videos in the past, but what I wanna do today is, uh, I've been taking a little bit shorter on top and a little more textured, so what we're gonna do, let's just turn this way, is we're gonna kind of fade up the sides here like we normally do. I'm probably gonna go with like a one and then fade it up from a one to a two to a three. And then I'm gonna do a lot of work by hand in through the perimeter here in the corners and we'll give it a nice taper. So it's gonna be a really nice textured haircut, especially good for the uh, this new season coming up when it's getting a little warmer, uh, a little more easy to style, less maintenance. And also with using my products, they work really well with his hair. So. Follow along, I'm gonna cut his hair. You can just follow and enjoy the music and we'll come back and break it down at the end. All right guys, so here is the finished result and I'm gonna break it down for you right now. So it's been around this way a little bit here, starting from the side profile. Now what I've done is I went with a number one guard, then I went back in and used no guard and just kind of raised the lever just to give it a nice light taper around this area. 
And I always suggest doing this if your sideburns get really thick and they grow super fast, go shorter right into here because as it grows out, it's actually gonna keep it looking much neater. So then I extended that in through this area going from a one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and then right in through the perimeter, I did everything by hand. I like to blend this area and make the connection by hand because I think it just, it grows out much softer and it looks a lot better. Same thing throughout here, nice tapered haircut. And let's go all the way around and through here. Now, make note of the, the kind of the profile and of his head shape and of the haircut. It really has a beautiful flow going from shorter into longer. And one, because he's you know, a fitness model and he's always been doing great on Instagram and social media, I want him looking as good as he can all the time, all right? <laughs> it's a reflection on me, right? <laughs> so I want him to be looking good from all angles. And the way I cut his hair is I give it a lot of shape that it can reflect those different types of angles and maybe he's getting photographed from a certain distance or I want the hair to kind of reflect that. And that's why I do a lot of texturizing and uh, point cutting because just from looking at through here, I mean, look at that shape. It's got a great flow. You know, you can mess it up and it's still got great texture and volume. And it's, even though it's short, it doesn't look like, oh, it's just a short haircut. Then I blow dried it. Uh, I actually went in with the thinning shears a bit just to kind of soften up the blend blow dried it, and then I used pregame, which is Kevin's favorite product, scoop it right in, work it through my fingers, apply it, and then it's, it's done. So that's basically it, and here is a finished result. Well, YouTube, here is a finished result. Kevin looks awesome. Don't forget to follow him on Instagram. You have, what, 30 million right now? If only. <laughs> oh, 40 million, sorry. <laughs> no, but anyway, no, he's- One day. One day. He's, uh, he's really, really knowledgeable, and if you have any questions or need his services, definitely follow him and reach out to him. But I hope you enjoyed this haircut. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more videos with Slango.